Good day everyone, my name is Rir Behentin Flores and this is my channel. Last videos, we tackle about some traffic. Good day everyone, my name is Rir Behentin Flores and this is my channel. Last video, we tackle about some topics related to trigonometry. And for today's video, let us discuss a certain topic also that is related to trigonometry. And it is all about the azimuth. So at the end of this video, the objectives are learners or viewers are not able to define, distinguish, and solve azimuth. Define since the learners or the viewers are now able to um, give definition what is azimuth, distinguish si since um, at the end of this video, the learners are now able to compare and evaluate what is azimuth from the other one that will be discussed and of course to solve the azimuth from a certain given. So first, let us discuss or define what is the azimuth. Azimuth defined as the angle formed between a reference direction which is, which is the north and a line from the observer to a point of interest. So these um, definitions here can be illustrated by this illustration. So as you observe here, we have 0 degrees which will serve as our um, reference direction which is the north. And as you observe the number of the measurement increase in a counterclockwise manner. So as you observe, we have 45 degrees, 90 degrees, 135 degrees, and so on. And uh, the numbers or the measurements increase per point of interest. So in that case, um, azimuth defines angle between 0 degrees and 360 degrees measured clockwise from the north. So, azimuth could be um, any measurement as long as it is between 0 degrees and 360 degrees and it is measured clockwise from the reference direction, which is the north. So, this is the other illustration. Um, the illustration a while ago is for 45 degrees and this is the, the this illustration serves for 30 degrees. So, we have the north as our reference direction similar we have zero degrees same sa, um, previous illustration 30 degrees 300 um 60 degrees 90 degrees 120 degrees 150 degrees 180 degrees and so on in a clan in a counterclockwise manner again so as you observe in the center it is known also as the observer so 90 degrees 180 degrees and 270 degrees also um, denotes some or the other three main directions so for 90 we have the est 180 degrees for our south and 270 degrees for our west and zero for our north so this is the symbol used for denoting or denoting alpha i denoting azimuth it is called alpha in the land navigation, azimuth is usually denoted alpha or that symbol and defined as the horizontal anger, angle measured clockwise from a north baseline or meridian. As what I have said, the north would be our direction or the reference direction. And azimuth has also been generally defined as horizontal angle measured clockwise from any fixed reference plane or any established baseline direction. So... That would be the, defini uh, the symbol used for um, denoting azimuth. So this is would be the azimuth look like. So we have the north, the observer, the east, south, and west. And B, C, D, and saka A would be the um, points of interest that would be um, serves as the if we were going to ask what would be the azimuth value of the point B. So we have to connect the observer to point B and then measure the angle form from the reference direction which is the north. So this would be the example. 
So we have this example and we have this illustration here and the base or the reference direction which is the north and first given I we have this center denoted as our A and first given would be the angle or the point of B. So we have this E B. Second give second would be E C line E C line E D line E A and line EF. Sorry for my vince pronunciation. So um indeed in, in this case we were are now able to find um such um azimuth value of each form line at the at the given point of interest. So we have this B A B or line A B for equal to ninety degrees since it is um in line with the S direction which is valued as 90 degrees and for our AC we have assumed that it occupies um, um, 60 degrees in a fourth quadrant in a counterclockwise direction but in this case we have this would um, fourth quadrant would be our second quadrant so assume that it occupies 60 degrees in a second quadrant plus the complete first quadrant which is equal to 90 so our AC would be equal to 150 degrees our ED would be equal to 330 degrees since assume that it occupies um, 60 degrees in a fourth quadrant or in a second quadrant in a counterclockwise manner and our EA is it occupies since it occupies a half of a quadrant so we have this 45 degrees for our EF um, assume that it occupies 10 degrees additional to 180 degrees so we have 190 degrees and that in this case um, 90 degrees 150 degrees 330 degrees 45 degrees and 190 degrees would be our azimuth value of each direction or of each given line of interest so we have line of EB, line of EC, line of ED, line of EE, and line of EF. How about in this given example? Find the azimuth value if points X is 0, 0, and Y is 6 and 5. So first, we should plot those given points. So we have this 6, 5 here for our Y and for our x, we have 0, 0 would be our observer. And the second step would be um, denote that um, north direction is a given. So we have this n here and connect those points for us to make a line. In that case, we have this reference direction, which is the north and the line. So measure the angle between the north and the line of interest. Assume that it is 45 degrees since it occupies also a half of a quadrant. So, in this given, find the azimuth if x is 0, 0 and y is 6 and 5. So, we have this azimuth value as 45 degrees. How about if this is the given example? Only a line denoted as line M or point M at the point, at the edge of this line. So next, um, first step, we should always think that north direction is given. So we have this here, north direction. And, and by that, we are now able to measure the angle form between the reference and the line given. So we have this 60 degrees, assume that it is 60 degrees. Then we have the azimuth value of 60 degrees given with this line. So this is would be the comparison for us to distinguish or to um, compare what is azimuth from the other one, which is also related to azimuth. So we have this bearing. Azimuth is measured measures 0 degrees to 360 degrees and it starts or the reference line would be the north. And azimuth would be measured only in a clockwise manner while bearing it measures less than or equal to 90 degrees and it starts in north or south so we have the 
two reference directions, this north and the south. North for the upper and south for the lower and it could be measured both um, manner. We have the clockwise and the counterclockwise. So for us to um, um, picture out or to visualize what the difference is, so we have this. A given example, the north, first is the given the given line of interest and the measure or the angle measure from the north. We have 30 degrees and it is in the north, the east, the south, and the west. For us to, if we were asked to um, give the azimuth value in this given illustration, so it is automatically 30 degrees since 30 degrees is the angle form from the reference line which is the north and the line of interest but in the in the in the bearing part we have this 30 degrees of north to est since we have this north as our direct uh, reference and it on, it also includes the second directions the two rest direction which is the est and the west as the last direction with if we were going to um, put a specific value of a bearing so, so what is bearing bearing is an angle measured from the vertical line north for the upper part and south for the lower part to horizontal line which is the west and the east it bearing measures it is or the measurement of a bearing is a, a blah, 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 blah. so what is bearing Bearing defined as the angle measured from the vertical line, north for the upper part, south for the lower part, to horizontal line which is the west and the east. The measurement of the bearing is an acute angle that measures less than 90 degrees within a quadrant defined by the cardinal directions. So to... Um, visualize what is the definition means so this is would be the illustration as you have observed we have this four major directions the north at east south and the at and west and we have these quadrants here as you observe we have quadrant one includes the north and the east direction and quadrant two we have the north and the west direction quadrant three we have the south at west direction quadrant four we have the south at and s direction so if the given is 45 degrees the to write such um, bearing value would be in a quadrant one look like this 45 degrees of north to, to est for the second quadrant would be 45 degrees north to west for third quadrant we have this 45 degrees south to west and for the fourth quadrant we have this 45 degrees south of est so proceed how about if this given if this is the given examples for the as you observe we have this given um, degrees or I'm um, I mean angles that measure 60 degrees 45 degrees 50 de 55 degrees 30 degrees and angle A angle B angle C and angle D so let us first here in a first quadrant we have this north 60 degrees north of est and for the fourth quadrant we will um, find the value uh, the bearing value in a clockwise manner the fourth quadrant or the fourth quadrant would be 45 degrees south of est and in the third quadrant we have um, we have the 55 degrees south of west and for the first quadrant we have 30 degrees now north of west sorry hindi siya visible so proceed this would be the conversion if we have a given azimuth to the bearing converting from azimuth to bearing if the azimuth measures between 0 degrees to 90 degrees, the bearing would be similar to the given azimuth. 
if the azimuth measures between 90 degrees to 180 degrees, the bearing would be 180 degrees subtract um, minus the given azimuth for us to come up with a bearing value. If the, uh, we have this azimuth 180 degrees, measure 180 degrees to 270 degrees, then the given azimuth minus 180 degrees and for or f or if um, the azimuth measures between 270 degrees to 360 degrees then 360 degrees minus the given azimuth so we have this example here for us to visualize or to apply those um, given formulas if the azimuth if the given azimuth would be 45 degrees then calculation just copy the given azimuth and then includes in a bearing we have since 54 degrees is in uh, first quadrant so we have this 54 degrees north of est 40, 54 degrees of north to est then if we have this given azimuth of 112 degrees then the calculation would be 180 degrees minus 112 degrees is equal to 68 degrees. Since 112 degrees is in the quadrant 4, since azimuth measures clockwise, well, well bearing could be measures um, counter or clockwise manner or clockwise directions as long as it is the reference line is south and north while azimuth focus only to the north direction so azimuth 112 degrees is in quadrant 4 that measures or the directions in quadrant form 4 in bearing is the south at saka est so we have this 68 degrees south 68 degrees of south to est if the given is 221 degrees and it is um, between in 180 degrees to 270 degrees so as the formula says in the conversions, the given azimuth must be subtracted to 180 degrees for us to come up with the azim or the varying values. So 221 degrees is in the quadrant 3 and the measurement or the directions involved in quadrant 3 in bearing is the south, south and west. So we have this 51 degrees of south to west. Last, we have this 345 degrees as the azimuth given and we all know that it is in a quadrant 4 for the azimuth but in the bearing it is in a quadrant 2 and the quadrant 2 directions includes um, north and west for us to have 15 degrees of north to west. Um, this would be a short, um, a short summary for a azimuth. So azimuth is any measurement as long as it is measured um, clockwise direction and it is based or the reference direction is in the north.